Hey guys, how you doing today? Just a quick video on the fly here. Um, got to get out and do some things in a little while and I thought I would just step outside and do another one with the uh, iPhone. Kind of enjoying the option of having this iPhone with me. Uh, I'll get a few toys for it when I go to the States next time. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to come to you with a quickie today. Raw Vegan Envy. What am I talking about here? Now, I see this every single day. I don't think I ever go through a day where I don't see a comment somewhere in a thread on a post or in a comment on somebody's YouTube video channel. And it usually goes something to the extent like this. It's like, um, you know, it's like the person is gushing or putting somebody else up on a pedestal. They're like, you know, wow, you've done so much. You've lost 100 pounds. You've cured this. You're not dealing with this blah 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 you know uh, blowing up their um, what positive benefits they've gotten from the lifestyle and then comes the kicker I wish I could do that or I could never do that and I just don't ever quite get that okay now don't anybody out there try now I'm sure there's few you know every time I do this to try to do a little encouragement somebody kind of thinks lawyer and they start thinking of like any case scenario where why there's a reason that they can't do it. Okay, sure, there's probably going to be some physical reasons out there, but I'm just talking about people having a lack of belief in themselves. Until you're ready to, until you believe in this lifestyle, until you believe in yourself, if you don't believe you can do this raw vegan lifestyle or high carb vegan lifestyle, whatever it is you're trying to do, if you don't believe deep down there that you can do it, you're not going to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're just like, um, you're kind of, uh, well, you're not wasting time because you're probably um, improving your diet anyway, which is good if you're taking steps forward. And I'm never about putting pressure on you. And maybe that's the reason people think they can't succeed or they can't do what other people have done because um, it, they just don't understand the process. And they don't understand you have to go through that process. I mean... Yeah, you couldn't go from eating standard American diet to coming here with me probably and, and just following me and eating what I eat every day because I've been doing it for three years. I've still got a lot more cleaning to do, but I've done a lot of cleaning so far. Um, so, you know, don't try to compare yourself. I think a lot of times that comes from you trying to compare yourself where you are now to comparing yourself to where these other people are now. What I'll say over and over and over and over again is you really have to listen to the before messages of some of these people. Like, um, like I always use her. Tanny Raw's a really good example. Some, I was thinking this morning, it'd be kind of nice like for her to do like, a, like maybe a solid week of videos and not even have her now face, maybe just put a photo of her before on there while she's talking. Because I think people kind of get, start watching her channel and, um, you know, they just forget. Or they see where she is now. They see how she's thriving. And they just think, oh, wow. The story, she didn't do, I mean, she wasn't some superhuman. She figured it out. She made mistakes. She was sick. She had illnesses. She had to work it out. Countless number of other people like that. I look at a lot of these, um, I lot of, look a lot of, at a lot of what I consider successful raw vegans and high carb vegans in general, and they're not extraordinary people. Not too many of them have some extraordinary story they come from. Me, I'm a good case of that. I mean, I, ju I don't know. It's not like, and I'm definitely not judging anybody. A lot of times it's just me trying to figure out how to break through some certain type of thinking. So maybe I could give somebody some encouragement. But for God's sake, I'm not anybody special. I mean, the way I was living in my life, you're, you're kind of really putting yourself down if you're saying you can't do what I do. Because, I mean, I was a drunk. I was a drunk eating garbage. Um, I was, um, you know, I did horrible things to my body for many, many years. Uh, I wasn't really in the, pl the right place. Well, I was in the right place when I started hearing about this message to accept it. But if I'd have heard this message two years before, I don't even know what I would have done with it. But the bottom line is you have got to develop that belief in yourself. I mean, you know, I, I talk about it all the time. You can watch all these, you know, people love to go back and forth on the science. I think the science and stuff fascinates people. I wish I was a little bit more science-driven. Um, but it's not about learning the exact combination and what, okay, should I eat this much fat and this much fat. It's breaking through the barriers up in here. And if you don't break through the barriers up in here, not all the knowledge that you can accumulate out there is not going to help you. So... 
stop having raw vegan envy stop putting anybody you see doing this lifestyle or any kind of a lifestyle on a pedestal they're people they're people that had a process they worked through their process they believed in themselves and they knew they could do it i was talking to another one yesterday uh, and if she's out there i don't call people out but if she's out there watching she'll know who i'm talking about she posted a before and after photo and <laughs> <laughs> her before photo and sorry my friend if you're listening because this is really a compliment but she had a belly she had a belly and she was letting it all hang out now in that before and after photo I told her I said I said you know what I saw in that before photo not many women are going to post a photo are going to put up a photo of themselves like that online but most women aren't going to take a photo of themselves uh, like that but what I knew in that photo what I could see in that photo is she was already that after version in her mind. She knew she was going to do it this time. She had no doubts. It wasn't like, I'm going to try this. I love it when people say, I'm going to try this uh, raw vegan thing. Don't try it. Do it. That's what she did. That's what I saw in her eyes. And that's why she's been successful this time. And I have no doubt that she's going to continue to be successful. There's nobody out there that's special, people. I don't care about any of your YouTube stars out there. Uh, and obviously, I'm not lumping myself in there. I've just got a nice, quiet, small channel. But nothing special about any of your YouTube icons out there. They're all people. They put on pants one leg at a time. Um, they all, most of them have some sort of a story from uh, their background. They, you know, and they just did it. They were people that were determined. They just did it. There is no trick to this lifestyle. Anybody can do it. I'm convinced of that. Yeah, there may be some specific challengers to you lawyer types out there. There might be some reason why this, 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 and this doesn't work. But in general, most of it's up here. And we succeed or we fail between this six inches. It's not to do with anything else. So, you know, just set your mind. Believe in yourself. Give yourself, uh, give yourself credit. You're stronger than you think. Every single one of us is stronger than we think. We have an inner reserve. We have some sort of deep strength in there that most of us don't even know we have. Anyhow, rant for the day over. You're good enough to do this. You're not any less than anybody else out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And it's hump day. Hope uh, your week is going well. I love you guys. Peace.